Hello everybody, I'm Waldo Richards from the Game Train. Since we're finally approaching the early PC games, I would like to get one specific series of games, actually two games, out of the way as soon as possible because, well, not only do they have some sentimental value to me, but I don't really feel comfortable playing them with other people in the house. You'll understand what I mean when we get to them. So, without further ado, let us begin this shit fest. Ah, entering the lands of obscurity. Good. Wow. Wow, I never thought elephants could run on two legs. Oh, please stop. So I skipped the intro because there's not much to see. Basically, the fucking parrot escaped from Africa because he wanted to get help of this kid in a fucking biplane to save Africa from the evil Barmalay. If you couldn't get what the title screen said, it said new Barmalay. Don't know why it says that, but it doesn't matter. Just keep in mind one simple thing. This game was only released in Russia and Lithuania. This is as obscure as I can get with games. A little bit of backstory about this game. Barmalay is a fucking pirate who can do anything he wants. So he's not to be messed around with. But this kid called John, yeah, that's his name. He's here to beat the shit out of him because he ain't afraid of no pirate. To get to Africa, however, we gotta fly because, well... Kids can fly planes but not drive cars. Whatever, it's a fantasy game. So, how do we get to fucking Africa? We fly. Yeah, I already mentioned that, but... Since you're using our mouse to control the game mo most of the time, I think all of the time actually, I don't know. We just gotta collect fuel canisters which are sitting on the clouds. They only sit on normal clouds. Every other cloud seems to be shape shifting into various animals. Kinda creepy, don't you think? What would you say if you suddenly saw a fucking cloud turn into a crocodile or a rhino? I'd probably shit my pants. Shit would come out of my ass. You shut the hell up, you fucking parrot. I like how you can shoot the parrot. It's really fucking funny. Get used to the fact that the parrot keeps talking non-stop. That's its specific trait. Oh, you're supposed to not run out of fuel while going through this. But it's impossible! It's so easy! Hooray! We reached Africa! Now we gotta land down to Africa. <laughs> Holy shit! Remember when I told you that Barmalay can do anything he wants? He can make the fucking clouds shoot birds. He's fucking badass. Oh, forget the plan by the way. We don't need it to come back home. Now we need to catch the parrot because he got shot by the fucking... By the fucking cloud. No worries, just get close to the fucking parrot and that's it. Oh, and don't worry about the parrot, it will never die. Even if, if, if it, even if it might seem like it will happen. 
and even if it might seem that the parrot is dead, it's a kid's game, how could it die? One thing you will never notice in the video is that the colors are glitched up as fuck. It's only on my side for some reason, I don't get what's wrong, but luckily the video is alright. Oh no, what has happened? They look more like prisoners. Oh, the parrot said, here, meet my friends. <coughs> the plot is, these bastards tried to save their kids because Barmalay locked them up in a cage somewhere. As you can see, their attempts have failed. As they are now tied up to a fucking cactus. This must be the world's strongest rope. It can hold a lion, a hippo, an elephant, and a giraffe right on the fucking cactus. By the way, it's so easy to untie them, but can you see that bell over there? If you try to untie them, something's gonna happen. Can you guess what? <laughs> oh no! That's Barmalay. I'll try to translate as much as I can. He explains to those dumbasses that for 20 years now he has managed to capture whatever he saw in his eyesight and nothing has escaped from him since. He also, before that, asked if the bastards were getting bored without him. He sometimes asks if the rope's comfortable. The kid complains that the knot is too tight. So, this is mainly a point and click adventure game. Let's go to the left and find out what's going on because I can't stand those fucking cryings! Look at those cactuses. Perfect for sneaking by. Oh, and butterflies. What's going on all the way here? Why, of course! It's Barmalay sharpening his sword. Sharpening. Nice! Shines like a fucking diamond! I th I'm telling you, this bastard can do whatever the fuck he desires. He is the greatest. But what am I supposed to do? <coughs> Obviously he's sharpening his sword. And the kid states that, well, tough shit, the knot is too tight, he can't do anything about it. And if he touches it, oh no, the bell! So we gotta make a distraction. <laughs> you see this cactus? You can click here. What do you know? Barmalay kept a spare bell in a fucking cactus nearby. Ain't he a dumbass for leaving that in there? I honestly don't know why he kept it in there. I assume he put it in there because, well, if he didn't, well, what the hell? Where did he come up with? Where did that fucking bell come from if he didn't put it there? You're really lucky that you're not seeing the colors glitched up, because I can see his fucking beard purple and his pants yellow. <laughs> That's disgusting. Let's ring the bell. Oh no! Somebody's trying to escape! Yeah, run dumbass. I'll just take this. <laughs> Oh, 
What the hell? Where did it go? <coughs> Let's go back and see what the animals are up to. Ah, Barmolo is being so generous to the poor animals. Now he's stating, if you tell me who took my sword, I might let you go. Let's ring the bell again. Oh, now he's gonna walk away. Do it! Quick! Do it! Yeah! Uh oh! Just don't look back! <laughs> yeah, we got caught, so what about it? Nothing! Nothing because the bastard now is running away from Barmalee on a fucking lion! Just left click whenever you're close to a cactus or a rock to jump over it. Oh, and collect these... Uh, first aid kits. Don't listen to the parrot, by the way. <laughs> so we gotta outrun Barmale. It's very easy, really. This is a kid's game, after all. You don't have to try at all. I mean, come on, just look at the bottom. barmalee has got no chance, but if you really suck and you keep hitting those goddamn cactuses, he will catch up. And he'll just outrun the fucking lion like nothing. Yeah, he can easily outrun the lion. But since I keep jumping over things and collecting first aid kits, it kind of makes the lion go a little bit faster, so... Yeah. I win. Have you noticed the bag in the background that some of the cactuses are fucking giant? <coughs> oh shit. I, all, I accidentally hit the cactus with my ass. Sorry. I can't believe a fucking kid from somewhere, let's assume America, is riding a lion to escape from an evil pirate. Yeah, Barmalee is a pirate, in case you forgot. So we, su we were supposed to get here. Jump over that. Because I don't know why. Oh no! He caught up anyway! If you fail that, he will actually drop the, the tree trunk down and you won't be able to go through the pitfall anymore. Let's see what he has to say. He assumes the kid is here, so he tr he tells him to get the hell out of the place he's hiding in. And now he's gonna go back a little to hunt the kid, cause he thinks he kind of got past him. Nope, he didn't. The lion is trying to be a smartass in this case. He says he's gonna ambush Barmalay. And what a fucking co coincidence that the next time we meet up with a lion, he's tied up to a fucking tree!